Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about 3D text in Bamboo Studio and how you can make something just like this completely in Bamboo Studio without going into any other 3D modeling software. So sit back, grab a cold drink, and let's get started right now. All right, to get started, the first thing we're going to do is add a primitive. So right click on the build plate, add primitive, cube, and then we're going to scale this. You can push S on the keyboard or click the scale button up here and make sure uniform scale is turned off. We're going to give it a height of five and then we're just gonna freehand resize this, something like that. And then if you deselect your tool, you won't be able to add your text to this object. So make sure you select it. You'll see the text type turn on, push T on the keyboard or go ahead and click this button here. Now, as an aside here, I wanted to mention that Bamboo Studio will not load all of your custom fonts. It uses something called OCCT to load the, the system fonts and it does not see your custom fonts. They'll show up in the list. It won't create the text based off of that font. So we're kind of stuck with just some of the uh, system fonts like Arial Black. Um, I like it because it's nice and thick. So let's go ahead and give it a size of 35 and then a thickness of four. And we're going to do the same bam bam in caps, if I can do that. Go ahead and bring it in. Uh, we're going to change the text gap so that all of them are touching each other as one. It looks just like that. Perfect. And the next thing we need to do is get it off of this cube primitive. So just over here in the process menu. Switch to object mode, right click on the cube, and then hit delete. It will drop down to the build plate and it's ready to print. Um, another tip you can do if you wanted to, let's say, mirror your text um, because you wanted to print the smooth on, the, if you're not gonna use the ironing feature to smooth this out and you wanted to give it like a textured font or like any of those carbon fiber plates, then you could just mirror your font by right clicking on it um, and then go mirror along the x-axis and then it's flipped over upside down now so that's that's a quick and easy way to do that now the next thing if we want to take this one more step further is let's go ahead and add another primitive cube and let's scale that again same thing five and let's just go this and go ahead and push t on the keyboard again Let's do it a little bit smaller, same thickness, print. I will show you why I'm doing this here in a second. Let's go ahead and switch to the Arial Black, same font, and pull it in. I know it's going to smush all these letters. You won't be able to see the I, but just for the sake of this tutorial, that looks good. We're going to do the same thing. Right click on cube, click delete. Now, if I pull these together, Right now they're two separate objects. It will print a wall around both of them. So what we want to do is combine them. So select your first text, then select your second text, right click and click merge. So when I hit slice, you can see now they're one object. If I undo and go back to having them separate, as you can see like this, and I hit slice, you'll see now that it's going to print a wall for each one. Quick little tip for you right there. I hope this tutorial was helpful and that you learned something new. Have a great day and happy printing. 